So I'm just here to pick up my uh, wallet because I forgot my wallet in this car. Uh, and while I'm here, yeah. Uh, what is this? I have no clue. Oh my God. Small glass pipe. I'm pretty sure it's methamphetamine. Have you used drugs before? Only weed. Sometimes I smoke just weed. weed. Yes. Okay. A um, little bit of uh, meth, but it's been 90 days that I haven't touched anything at all. Okay. Have you used your phone today? Yeah, I was using to uh, call Raj before I fell asleep. Okay, yeah. Raj is not Susan, right? Susan? No. Who's Susan? Susan, uh, I, you know what? I have no clue. But you sent a message several hours ago saying you have snow and weed, baby, and we can party a little. No and we baby been party a little? Yeah, this is your album. That was a That was a lie. You didn't send this text message. No. Who is this message like? Yeah, no maybe a hundred for an hour, so it sounds like haggling on her price. No text, no. The second thing I wanted to address in this video is the comments of me being a rich kid. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and address you guys right now. That is not the case. Shut up! That is not the case with this channel. You know, you guys might be on the wrong channel if you're thinking that I'm a rich kid of some sort. I'm just trying to address that, guys. I just, I've worked very hard for what I've got on my channel, and I take that with pride and joy. And the last thing is, my BMW is coming soon. However, I also just caught my mom's Benz because she is getting a second car, or I guess you could say a new car for herself. And Well, I, I heard that you were hosting the Academy Awards. That is true. I am hosting <laughs> Thanks. And on my way in, I went down to the souvenir store downstairs, and I found this. Oh, wow. And what I does it say? I wanted to give it to you, because on it, it says, best host. Best host. Oh, best I mean. Best host ever. Oh, thank you. Can I, I keep the bag? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Wow, what a... I believe you're going to be the best host ever, my that, friend. Well, so. thank you. Well, I hope I was in it. I can't imagine that that would be true, but... <laughs> I can we only know disappoint. What can go wrong? Moonlight is one best picture. Moonlight, best picture. You know her. She's one of the hosts of Outnumbered, and today she is cooking with friends. Here's Faulkner and Adora. Bella join us Yay. with a special Yay. holiday recipe. You're going to make peach cobbler. We are, and good morning, everybody. Good morning. Who are my good friends, morning. Bella? Good to see you. Good Great morning. to see you. Hi, Bella. Bella, tell them what you're going to do. I'm going to pour the mixture into the bowl. That's all right, Bella idea. has uh, added all you're the... You're done, stir sweet. So far. All right, so now I'm going to take my peaches, and I'm just going to lay Which is great that they're canned, by the way, because you can do this any time of the year. You can do this. I, I do it in the summer, so and I put fresh strawberries in here too. Oh, oh what a good idea. Do you right? make Kool-Aid? I'm going to try this. Uh, do I do what? Make Kool-Aid. Uh, no, I, I don't make uh, Kool-Aid. Right, but I made an summer. adult beverage oh. for us. She does. She brought it up. Yeah. Harrison Rock. Yeah. 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 60 Minutes. Yeah. 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 Television yeah. 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 DJ Khaled signed a deal to be Weight Watchers' new social media ambassador. The word weight is a homophobe. What is a homophobe? Somebody that doesn't like gay people? <laughs> Oh, I said homophobe, didn't I? My dream has been to write a book. I have been a bookworm since the minute I could read, it's all I did. All I did was read. Books are still, to me, so special and so important. When I was younger, I used to write short stories all the time. When all my friends would be out playing, I would come home and sit on my computer because I was writing a book. It was just something that I loved to do. So, Penguin contacted me a while back, like, hey, have you ever, you know, thought about writing a book? And I was like, of course. Like, I would absolutely love to write a book. I would love to have something that I've done myself um, that, you know, has come from my brain and gone into pages and people can buy it. Carson, California. Mayor Jim Deere presides over a city council meeting. 
At the podium, community activist Vera DeWitt wraps up her argument on why the mayor should be removed from office. Please, I'm ladies, to quit yeah, lower your voice. Quit interrupting me. That's all. Thank you. As DeWitt leaves the podium, she spots one of the mayor's staunchest allies. She hit her right in the eye. She hit her right in the eye. Stop that woman from leaving the room. She struck the woman. She should be arrested. Very just struck a woman in the eye. I'm going to call a doctor. DeWitt is fined $1,500 and sentenced to 100 hours of community service and 52 hours of anger management classes. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ever lost something at an airport? You probably wondered where that digital camera or iPod really ended up. Well, tonight, we've got a sting operation that could bring you some answers. Sometimes your favorite shiny toys can end up in the homes of people who screen your baggage, the TSA officers, at the security gate. With the help of simple tracking technology and some tempting bait, ABC's Brian Ross brings us this Nightline Investigates. Orlando, where our iPad was last seen in the hands of TSA officer Andy Ramirez. We waited two weeks before we showed up at Ramirez's house. The tracking device shows that it's located right here at this address. Okay. Is it here? No, sir. And again and again, Ramirez denied knowing anything about the missing iPad. Did you take it? No, sir. You did not take it? No, sir. But shortly after we set off an audible alarm on the missing iPad, Ramirez produced it. Sir, you found it. There it is. Okay, turn the camera off. With his TSA uniform now off, Ramirez said it was his wife who had taken the iPad, not him. Come on in, sir. No, I don't want to come inside. I want you. I want you to explain how this iPad left at a TSA screening station ended up in your house. My wife's. I'm so embarrassed. Your, your my wife? wife? My wife says she got the iPad and brought it home. You know, that, that can't be true because the last time we saw it, it was in your hands. Have I taken any trips out of the United States that lasted 24 hours or more? Like, spiritually? <laughs> yeah. Also, if you're in the air, it's not like totally out. Like, how, how high is the United States? Have you ever thought about that? I want to get, you know, to the air and be like a, a different type of, you know, like American. Like, I'm in the air, like, I want to be like an Aryan. Yeah. Uh, I remember when I was in England, we were preparing some uh, young English boys. Uh, they're from very... <laughs> uh, preparing them for... for... Come thank, on. Thank you. Uh, preparing them for First Communion. It's not like I'm a bad guy. I, I am a good guy who made a bad decision. Google Preferred dropped you from their service. Yeah. Do you think that that was, was fair of them to do? I understand that they needed to take a stance. And while I don't necessarily maybe agree with it, mm -hmm. I do respect it. I do respect it. But how does that pr uh, affect your bottom line? Um, want to know the real answer? Yeah, of course. It, it, it hurts, but it's not like I'm drowning. It's, it's... At 22 years old, I bought my first house for $6.5 million. I don't... But I wasn't quite satisfied, so I had a koi pond put in. Painted the walls of the guest house. Bought a giant truck known as the Yeti. Bought a school bus and then turned it into a cool bus. Installed a home theater system.
I try not to live my life thinking about money, because money doesn't make me happy. Each time our next guest pays a visit to this show, he risks life and limb, specifically my life and my limbs, to entertain you. He is a beast master. He's handy with a hammer, too. He has a new special called Pet Nation Renovation, premiering Wednesday night on Animal Planet. Please welcome the Canadian Tarzan, Dave Salmoni. <laughs> What is this? Oh, right. Okay. Folks, oh, it's just, it's just You already, plot. the animals hello, are out of control. Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> you're all right, you're all right. Oh, you're <laughs>